a retired piece of American history about to make its way down the Delaware River. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Chopper 6 is live right there over the battleship New Jersey in Camden. In just a few minutes, this vessel will begin its journey to Paulsboro, then to the Philadelphia Navy Yard for extensive renovations. We're told they just fired the guns on that ship. Cool. People across the country have been waiting to watch this rare moment for months now. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin live in Camden with a preview of the ship's carefully planned trip. Caroline. Sarah and John, what an exciting day here in the city of Camden and for people all across the Philadelphia area. We are about to watch history in motion and we just heard from state, federal and military officials. They see the preparations that were underway in order to move this massive ship. They were almost as big as the ship itself. I want to give you a look at her right now. She is the main event. Battleship New Jersey will move from her dock here in Camden, headed to the Philadelphia Navy Yard for maintenance work after a stop in Paulsboro, New Jersey this afternoon. Afternoon. Officials say this trip is a year in the making. The battleship, which was built in the 1940s in Philadelphia, served for about 50 years before its retirement in February of 1991. The ship, which was the most decorated battleship in Navy history, has been a floating museum since 2001. Today, it will take an overdue trip to the Navy Yard, where its hull will be inspected, painted, and repaired. You can hear the ceremony that's underway right now as everybody waits for this ship to move down the river. The last time it did was in November of 1999. This video from the Action News archive shows the crowds that were lined up that day to see its journey. We have similar crowds out here in Camden, New Jersey this this afternoon. Now we are told the ship cannot move on its own, so four tugboats will have to maneuver it, and at the helm of the ship will be Joseph Benton. This is an incredibly uh, powerful day for this state and for this community. Uh, you think about World War II, Korea, Vietnam, the Cold War, Lebanon, you all know this as well as I do. There's no battleship in the history of our nation that comes close to the legacy created and lived by the USS New Jersey. This is a historic day. The battleship, and we've heard many things, it's the fastest, it's the longest, the most battle stars, but what it truly is, is a symbol of not only New Jersey, but for those who put on our uniform. And we want to give you a live look from Sky 6 right now, showing you the massive crowd that is out here in Camden right now, just to take in this historic moment. I can tell you guys that I spoke with so many people here this morning. I spoke with a volunteer on the ship who is now 90 years old. He is also a veteran um, of our military. I also spoke with a young man from Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. He says every 4th of July, he takes the train and then he rides his bike to take the ferry to come all the way here just to watch the fireworks from the battleship New Jersey. I also spoke with a man who who served on this ship. It means so much to him that him and his wife actually got married on it back in 2015. So obviously the ship means so much to different people for so many different reasons. As for the logistics today, the ship will cross under the Walt Whitman Bridge around 1.30 this afternoon. So of course the bridge will be closed to traffic during that time. It is set to arrive in Paulsboro for some final preparations around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Officials say the maintenance work on the ship, it's going to take about two months or so. So it hopes to be back here in Camden for tours starting in June. But I got to tell you guys, we just heard from officials that the ship will actually, when it's in the Navy Yard, it will be open for tours then. People won't be allowed to go inside and on the ship, but they'll be able to see underneath it. So that's some pretty cool news as well. But right now, as you can see this crowd, we are just waiting for the ship to head down river for the first time in almost 25 years. That's the latest live in Camden, New Jersey. I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6 Action News. John. So impressive crowds there behind you to watch this historic moment. Caroline, thank you. And you can actually watch along as well. Wherever you stream, you can watch it there. Also, 6abc.com, and we'll follow this ship as it moves. Caroline, thank you.